This is gonna be our first vlog vlog um, of a of me that we're gonna be doing. The farm right now has looked probably it's probably looking the worst like it's ever had. This season we've had deer come in, we've had um, ants get into the breakers on the well, and then to cap everything off, we had a groundhog. And here's some of the damage from the groundhog now. Go ahead. You can see here, all these plants are just chewed down, all here, all the way down. Groundhog's coming in. We identified it because we were looking at some um, damage that the deers had done. This is when the okra plants was up high. And then I noticed once we got rid of the deer, the issue persisted. So then it led me to think that, okay, we have um, another issue. Then I saw the, my wife saw the groundhog and then I saw it. So we're currently going to get all the plants out right now. We're going to do some landscape fabricing today. And then we're going to um, get some beds saturated so then we can start getting 28 day items in. So I'll. I'll just keep you all updated on this experience. So you can see here the whole family is out working, pulling up the kale plants here. Here's Akeem, right here, middle child. Here's Khalil right here. So what he's doing is getting, pulling them up. Amber is, this is my wife Amber, the pink overalls. And then we're going to be composting all the plants. It's kind of, it's really sad. And it's really sad, but. These are things that happen on a farm. And then we're going to work on these cucumbers. These cucumbers are in their life. And then we're going to uh, compost these. We're going to cut them down and compost them. So I'll show you how we do everything here. So just stay tuned as we uh, get all this stuff done. It's going to be it's going to be fun, I think. Um, just transitioning, going from just where the farm is to, to like a new space of productivity so just join along everybody so what what amber and Khalil are going to do now they have this um these old kale plants wheelbarrow full and then they're going to take them and they're going to put them we're making these compost piles on the farm here's one right here there's one there and this is like an unofficial thing we got plenty of wood chips got plenty of carbon so when we start composting we can do it at a, a good level a high level we can do it correctly and then we have these piles here of weeds that we are starting to um, to put in the piles here. So it's going to be a lengthy process, and we have a lot of organic matter to integrate in. But this is where we are right now with uh, composting. And if you all have any questions about composting, I'll be happy to answer them. So you see I came right here coming up with a wheelbarrow. You see them right here? He's coming on. He has to figure out what area to best push it because this, this all this whole area is new here. We just trenched this probably a few months ago, so now he has to figure out the easiest route to get it, so he's not making a mistake. So you are going to get the unfiltered reality of a farm and learning how to do it as well. I came. Do you think this is the best thing to do? Why don't you move it out of the way and then try to go around? You have to go on the flattest part. That's too high. You're not going to be able to get the wheelbarrows, the circles. You're not going to be able to go up the hill. Yeah, so you need to move this over so he doesn't get caught on the wheelbarrow. Just move it out the way of the wheelbarrow. You didn't move it. It's still, you need to get this area right here. Do the same thing for the collards in tunnel four. So, well, the next thing you can do um, is pull the fabric up. There you go, I came. So now you can't put stuff in the wheelbarrow's way. You need to move, you move the bucket. You, is that smart to do that while the wheelbarrow, while the stroller's there, I came? So y'all gonna hear me talking and y'all gonna hear me doing a lot of talking and teaching at the same take time. The you gotta take the fabric off of these rolls right here and then just fold it up. So what you'll do, you'll take it and you'll roll it all the way up until where it ends. And he'll just keep folding it. Uh, just pull it up. Just pull it up. Pull the fabric up. And those will come up. Pull it hard. And keep pulling it every time you get to a staple. 
Khalil, go where mommy is folding it and go to, ah, uh, um, do this first. Do this first. You want to hold the camera? <laughs> you want to do it like this? Well, come get this top right here, this lid, and he's dead plants. Right, jumping in here? <laughs> She's jumping in there. I'm going to compost those plants and move that lid. This is easy for you to do. Okay. So pull it from the opposite end, basically. Yeah, and then as you keep, as you decrease the space on it. So you go do that. And those, this one's one whole one, I believe. Yeah. All right. And do I do the same thing? You do the same thing, I came. So what do we do when we're done doing that? Like, hold on. Um, good question, Khalil. Where do we put it? So you're going to take it and you're going to put it right there at the end of this post near these bins. Right here. Put it right here. On the ground. Keep it neat. Keep it neat. Yep. And keep them together too, so we know that those two go together. Here's some okra that we got right here. It's okra. It's okra here. I came, take the end of it and walk back toward me. Don't take the staples out. Put that staple back in. Don't take those out. Just leave those on the side. We'll get those later. Take it and walk back. No, turn around. Turn around. Turn around this way. Take that with you. And walk it back down there. Stop, stop. Pick this up and walk it back. Here, hold this in and walk it all the way back. Keep it even. Two hands. Keep pulling it, pull it. Pull it. Keep pulling it. Keep walking. Keep walking. Good job, Khalil. Keep walking. You don't have to pull that hard because I'm here. The longer it gets, the harder it's going to be to pull. Stop, stop. I, I'm right here, Akeem. I can pull it up. The longer this gets, the longer it's going to be to, it's the harder it's going to be to pull out the ground. All right, stop it here. So now we cleared the bed, got everything off. Now Akeem is moving the irrigation off of, he's unscrewing the irrigation. 
Here we go. See me zoom out. Back up some. It was right here. <laughs> it's face tracking enabled. Now we're gonna organize this area over here. We have an area that we usually like put stuff and clutter. So we're just gonna reorganize here. It probably take us about 20 minutes to do. So um, we'll get to this and then we'll have our team continue to clear the beds off and get everything else done. So we can head out of here. And we're gonna do some reviews at the end so everybody's feeling after that day of hard work so now we're clean out some tunnels clear some weeds out so our philosophy on this now is get these weeds right here they're gonna go compost it where you composted all before the new ideology on this press it down so it doesn't fall out press it down with your hands scoop it back in so it's not hanging over the edge Press it down from the top first, so it doesn't you don't push to the side. All right, now go to the other side and do the same thing. Our um, new approach to these things, uh, like to growing, is that I want to deal with the least amount of weeds as possible. There you go. So now you're gonna go take it, Akeem, and go put it. Remember, it's steep over there, so go around the edge, the part that's lower. So the new idea perspective we're gonna have. Is that make sure you're not hitting up your cot. Look around. If you stop, you're caught somewhere. So go remove everything. Our new method is going to be con condensing the weed pressure as much as possible. So I'm going to run some landscape fabric on this end so there's no dirt exposed. It's the one under the big oak tree outside the fence. Um, you're going to have the gate. It's just, you're going to have to push the gate. See where it's connected? Unloosen the gate. When you unloosen, it, it's going to flip back. So do it slow and then walk out. You get, you got it? Rem remember I told you what was going to happen on camp? So this is what happens, y'all. Y'all catching farm mistakes live. I told you to go over the small, the, the was, piece. I was going right here and then it... So now look what happened. He uh, dropped the wood, bro. So now he has to figure out. No, you put the stuff back in the wood, bro. Then you flip it back over. This is a mistake. So now you have to fix mistakes out here. So push under. Anything that's in your way, move it first. So now he has to fix the uh, wheelbarrow. There you go. I have to push all this stuff back in, in the uh, in the pile. No, you push the materials in the wheelbarrow first. Push the materials upward. Push them. No, push it up. Get bend your knees and push it like that. There you go, and push the wheelbarrow back on its wheel. You have to walk forward. Walk forward. Now push forward. Keep pushing a bit by bit. No, you have to make sure you're getting leverage. Get under the pile. Get under the pile. And slowly push up, scoot up inch by inch. Now come up some a little bit. Move your feet up. You know how you just walk backwards and I do that going forward. Now walk a little bit forward. Now walk forward now. Walk forward. Walk forward. Walk forward. Now le lean down again. Get under, reposition your arms under the pile. Now walk forward again. Now do that again. There you go. Now do it again. There you go. Now do it one more time. Now push all your weight to the top of the wheelbarrow with the item so it'll flip back over. Push it up toward the top of the wheelbarrow. This, this end right here. Now get this end right here. This little bit right here. 
Now push up so the wheelbarrow goes over. No, no, you have to hold your material and do that. Now do it. Keep going. There you go. Now get those stuff, other stuff, and put in, pay, gotta pay attention. You're not paying attention. That's what happens when you don't pay attention. Now you gotta do the same thing over again. It's a life lesson. You need to pay attention to details. We go over this all the time. Get as much of the stuff in there as you can. I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm not, I can't bail you out. Go to the top. Get to this portion right here, the top of it, right here. There you go. Make sure it's steady. Make sure it's steady. There you go. Now get the stuff on the ground that failed. Pick it all up. Come on, pick it all up. That's not all of it. Use your foot to drag it close to the wheelbarrow and then pick it up. Use your foot, drag it close. There you go. I came, what now? You need to get all the stuff that's on the ground. I mean, that's hanging out the wheelbarrow, get it back in the wheelbarrow. So it's not hanging out on the side and it's falling over while you're moving it. All right. Now, push the wheelbarrow on the part that's the easiest. You have to keep it balanced on one wheel, like I said before. There you go. Now, put it in the power right here. You have to keep control of it. You did the same thing again. You can't dump the wheelbarrow to the side. You have to lift it forward. Pull the arm up, because I have something in my hand. You have to pull it up this way to do it. Now you gotta do the same. Now you gotta get all the stuff up. Look, look how I'm doing it. I don't do this. I do this. Now you gotta push that stuff on top of the pile. No, you. I just showed you how to get debris. You you lift up from the bottom and walk forward. Go to the other side now. See, look. As you're pushing it, it's gonna get lopsided. So you have to try to keep it even as possible. No, go to this side. To this side right here and push it forward. Alright, who put the plastic in here? We don't compost plastic. Get the plastic out. So why did you leave it there? But if we would have left today, it would have been right there. <laughs> See, the plant's clear. Come on, look what you're doing. You're, now you're not paying attention to stuff. <laughs> Get everything out. There's an area that, like, whenever you weed, we put, um, we didn't do a good job at, like, getting rid of the weeds. So if you leave them on the fabric, they decompose again. <laughs> I day fail. I told you. I t you go ahead and compost it. So now Amber is getting ready to get this dirt up right here. Right here in front of the tunnel. And then we're going to landscape fabric this area right here in front of the house. Because what's been happening is we've been getting um, a lot of weed pressure in front of our houses like here. You can see it here. It needs to be fabric again. You can get out all day. And then right here. So we're trying to go by house by house before we plant to redo and limit the work we have to do. On. All right, everybody. That concludes our first family farm vlog. We're going to be uploading more of these as we get more specific into what we're doing at the farm. You want to come be in it? I came. I came wants to be in it. Say hi, King. Hi. What's something that you did fun at the farm today? Pickle weeds. Was it fun, or are you just saying that? Uh, it was fun. All right. So y'all, we're gonna we're gonna be doing more of these specific to um things that we're doing at the farm, like beekeeping and just burning landscape fabric. What's Khalil? 
Want to say what, what was the funnest thing you did today at the farm? Um, Come so the camera can see. The funnest thing I did today was play with my brothers and being here. Because being here is just really fun. Especially when you get to work and play with the mulch and all that. Right, that was really nice for Khalil to say. I hope he meant it. Let me see if I can get some lighting, get some good lighting before. Here we go. Before we head out. But uh, we'll be doing more of these that are specific to like farming but we're also going to have ones where it's just me and my family out here and we'll be doing a lot of fun stuff at the farm so i appreciate you all tuning in and um i'll see y'all next vlog